Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a summer to autumn styling video for you guys, which feels so weird to say. I haven't done a styling video in a very, very long time, so I'm a little bit nervous. It's taken me a good couple of hours to set up, not really sure what I'm doing, but this is one of the best times of the year for styling in my opinion it's one of my favorite times of the year we've already been through summer we know what we like from our summer wardrobes we've got our basics we've got a few statement pieces we may even have a few new pieces at this point everything seems to work together really seamlessly and in the uk the weather isn't working against us too badly yet so you can still kind of get away with a bit of bare leg a bit of ankle a bit of a flimsy shoe it all works together quite nicely you can throw on a slider with a bit of knitwear i love that i'm actually not going to be doing that today trying to like step away from last year's summer to autumn styling video give you something a bit different but i think this might be one of my favorite mixes of outfits i've ever done it's basically taking the key pieces that i've really loved wearing throughout spring and summer and then using a lot of my basics and my go-to lighter jackets to layer up and I am loving everything so much. I'm really excited to get everything on. This may be what you see me in for the next couple of months. But there's definitely a little bit of everything in here. Hopefully things that everyone will have in their wardrobe in some capacity, whether it's the same like style of jeans or the same color of jeans, the basics, the jackets, hopefully there is something in here that will inspire you to rework the things that you already have at home at the moment. As always, links for everything I wear will be in the info box below. Like I said, there are a few new pieces, so they will definitely be linked. And I will do my best to find dupes for any older items and link those below as well. I will also link my jewellery and anything else I can possibly think of down there so definitely check it out but let's get on with the video. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Keep on watching if you want to see my top 10 summer to autumn transitional outfits. Okay so outfit number one we're making the use of our white jeans from the summer but we're keeping warm with a nice little knit. This one is a cashmere knit from Zara. I actually picked it up very recently. It is so cute. I think I have it in a medium. It's so slouchy. Really really lovely. This will keep warm on chillier days and you can definitely layer up as the weather gets chillier so this one's going to see you through like the entirety of the winter and beyond i don't own a lot of cashmere pieces but the pieces that i do own have always been such a staple in my autumn winter wardrobe because they really do keep me so warm and so snuggly and this outfit is the perfect combination of warm and snuggly but also still looking a little bit summery we're not quite looking full on winter ready yet we're still warm and that is basically for me what summer to autumn transitional dressing is all about i've paired this jumper and jeans combo with my beige trainers which were an absolute staple for me this time last year i've cracked them back out again this year they are perfect for wearing the jeans so this is definitely more of a casual outfit but you could easily swap in a little pair of black heels and have this as more of a cute dinner date kind of vibe but this is definitely more of an everyday look and i'm not quite here for a pair of like black boots and white jeans it just doesn't work for me it's not my vibe so i've definitely gone for a more casual everyday look with this one but it's one that would definitely take you through from now right the way through to winter the bags i've gone for my chanel jumbo just because this one i find really adds a little bit more of a dressiness to a very casual outfit it works well with the kind of monochrome vibe of the outfit and also elevates what is essentially a very casual basic simple outfit it just makes it look that little bit more fancy so definitely don't be afraid to pick your dressier bags for your casual outfits okay so outfit number two is warm enough on its own but i do have a little jacket option for as things start to get a little bit chillier so i've taken my e-crew trousers which i've been wearing so much over the summer they look perfect with a white body and a cute pair of sandals. I have loved wearing them so much and I wanna continue wearing them because they've just been such a staple piece in my wardrobe. It's such a really easy go-to simple outfit, these trousers and then something white on the top. I have loved it. So I got this long sleeve t-shirt. I think it is from either Pretty Little Thing or Misguided. Really affordable, very light, super great for layering, but also great on its own under like a trench or a coat as we go into the winter. I'm definitely on the hunt for a thicker version of this as well as things get really really cold i think it would be such a staple piece in my wardrobe i'm hoping to grab a skins long sleeve body in the white that would literally make my ear but anyway for now i've just gone with this long sleeve t-shirt my e-crew trousers these are on zara don't let the photos fool you they look white they are not white and they also come with a black belt which is really strange and it did not stay on the trousers for more than five seconds after i got it but anyway i have also paired the look with my ysl brown tan sandals i love these sandals so much i wear them so much 
during the summer months and they're actually a really great one for if you're wearing a neutral outfit in the autumn and it's not raining it's not too chilly outside you can still get away with an open toe shoe or an open back shoe at this time of year and i absolutely love that and then to go with the brown shoes i've gone for my louis vuitton pochette matisse bag which i have actually been loving a lot recently it's definitely a summer to autumn transitional bag i haven't reached for it at all over the summer got this for christmas kind of wore it for a bit didn't reach for it over the summer and felt like I have maybe made a really bad purchase, but literally it has been my go-to over the past couple of weeks. So I feel like it is coming into its own time. But yeah, I just love this outfit with it all paired together. It's very smart, casual, really nice and easy. I feel very cute in it. I really like the color palette of this one a lot. And then as things get a little bit chillier, I have a little trench option. I really like either a white coat or a white jacket with this outfit. I just think keep it light so i've got this trench from asos which i think i got back in march if they still have it i will link it i think this one looks really cute tied up over this outfit and then the bag really like pops out just a really nice easy outfit perfect for this time of year in the uk for those of you who are in warmer climates this will be you more autumn i'm guessing but for us in the uk right now things are a little bit ropey so i have thrown a few jacket options into this summer to autumn transitional video just because we need to be prepared one more thing to note before I go, this outfit also works really well as a cute day to night outfit. Pair a little strappy pair of sandals with this and you've got yourself a perfect like evening dinner outfit. So this one is a good all-rounder, summer, autumn, day, night, I've got you. So this next outfit I really like. It's a very old outfit formula that I am very accustomed to putting together. I love pairing a silk skirt with a slouchy knit and I've been really excited to pair these two together because number one, I haven't worn this skirt in a while. Before it was kind of like very, very, very loose to the point where I couldn't wear it. It's fitting a little better now and it works perfectly with this knit which I got from and other stories. I believe they might still do this. It's so cute. It's like the perfect neutral light oatmeal-y kind of like nudie. How do I describe this jumper? It's like that perfect off white nudie biscuit tone if that makes sense lots of hand action there but it actually it pairs so perfectly with the skirt which is kind of like a creamy off-white and i do tend to struggle to pair them together for those of you that might not have a cream skirt i understand that this is a very like niche item to have in your wardrobe i have a black one coming up so don't worry but yeah really excited to be wearing it again really excited to be pairing it with this knit i think they look so cute together and then with the trainers as well it's just like that perfect cute but casual outfit it's really comfy just perfect for so many different occasions Put it with the Louis Vuitton Porsche Antis again because this is going to be my like summer to autumn bag. I can feel it. It just goes with pretty much everything on this rail. So loving this outfit. And if you do want to dress it up, you can 100% pair it with a pair of ankle boots, a pair of sock boots in particular. I am very keen on throughout the autumn winter months. They work so perfectly into my wardrobe. This pair in particular, I actually think would work very very nicely with this outfit definitely not a color that you would automatically pair but i think it could work really really beautifully or we have a black pair which i think are hidden on the rail which would also work really really nicely now there's joining me for this segment of the video apparently but yeah here we have the green boots which i just love i die for these they are so cute when i saw them on zara i was like i need to have those in my life they work so nicely with this bag these boots, this bag, they're gonna be the dream team this autumn winter, I am telling you now. But the boots unexpectedly work very, very well with an all like cream toned outfit. They definitely take this outfit from being like very neutral, kind of more summery tones really, like those light colors, and it adds a little bit of autumnal flair into it. Then mixed with the bag, it is like, a combination made in my heaven. I also look like I'm dressing like my house, which I just don't think is ever a bad thing. I love the colour palette in my house. Yeah, I really can't tell if I like made the house look like my wardrobe or is my wardrobe now looking like my house? Who knows? This next outfit I love. I have enjoyed wearing these jeans so much over the past couple of months. I think I got them in roughly July, but I have been wearing them as much as physically possible. They're a tricky one. They don't go with everything. They are not one of those items in your wardrobe, but they are such a gorgeous statement piece that just look so beautiful. I love them so much that I actually got them in a darker blue, ready for the winter months. But this pair for the summer have been it for me. I've mostly been pairing them with a Zara body. I have the various different colors. So I've just been kind of mixing and matching and pairing them with my YSL sandals. And today I've just paired it with a long sleeve body just to compensate for the drop in temperature. This one is from Skins and it's a gorgeous like nude tone, but it's actually like a slightly darker nude than Zara do in their bodies. And it's just the most beautiful 
nude tone and the slightly darker tone of nude lends it to working really really well with the tan colors as well so we're still getting the use out of this gorgeous pair of white jeans that i've loved wearing over the summer and my summer sandals but just turning the chill factor up a notch and finally this outfit also makes a great day to night outfit a pair of like really dainty little strappy sandals with this is beautiful so i absolutely love these i think they are so versatile i'm also looking forward to as things get cooler pairing them with like some nice cashmere knits like some chunky knits i might even dabble into pairing a pair of trainers with them as well once things get colder but we will leave that for autumn winter okay so this next outfit i love it is so cute but number one we need to excuse the fact that i have not faked out my legs people so they are a state let's just deal with them and move on secondly i may be doing a courtney kardashian and having like a full on like emo kid revival moment and you're just gonna have to let me work through this because apparently turning 30 makes me like want to wear a pair of converse over and over again clinging onto my youth people no i'm just kidding i actually really love converse at the moment though they are so cute i got this black pair they literally just arrived and i knew i had to pair them with this outfit because it's just so cute everything that 15 year old me wanted and literally could not afford so i've got a pair of black converse now ready for autumn winter i paired them with this skirt which is from zara it is a gorgeous little almost like silky feeling leopard print number now I am not a massive leopard print lover. However, the tones of this I really like. Like it's quite a brownie toned leopard print print. The leopard print is like fully black on the spots. And then it's this lovely like brown golden tone, which I felt would work really, really nicely with my skin tone. And because of that, I felt like I could get away with wearing it both like day and night. So I've just paired it with a little body, which is from, I think, Pretty Little Thing. These ones are actually really good. I really like them, would definitely recommend. They're really nice and thick so far. I am gonna buy a white one to test out. So I feel like that is the real, the ultimate test. But I have also ordered a gray one, which I'm yet to try out, but I'm hoping that one won't be too see-through. Anyway, that one's more of a loungewear option, but this one I actually ordered two of because I know that they will be such staple pieces for me it's really something that over the past I would say like a month because we've had some really ropey weather in the UK I've been feeling like this has really been missing from my wardrobe so picked these up I got a size 8 for reference and I just love them if it's like a dream and is like stretchy but without being too like flimsy and because I've got a little bit of black going on I've paired the black converse with it as well and I just love that got the Louis Vuitton bag which might be a controversial opinion because we've got two prints going on but I kind of love it if I'm honest, I love it. I also love the cut of this skirt. It goes up a little bit at the thigh and I just think it's really cute, a little bit different. I don't really have much like this in my wardrobe. My skirt collection is very, very limited. Couple of mini skirts, couple of mini skirts, that is it. But like I said, the thing that I love about this skirt and top combo is that it can really easily do a day to night. It would also pair really beautifully, especially with these shoes, with a leather jacket as well. So you can really like layer up as things get a bit colder. It would also look gorgeous with a blazer though if you're doing like a evening kind of outfit. One adaptation that I could make to this outfit is actually to use the green boots. I think they could look really cute. We're gonna test it out. If not, a pair of black boots, like a little pair of black top boots would be absolutely gorgeous as well. And then for evening, a little black strappy shoe as well. So I'm gonna give you a few options with this one just because I'm a real fan of this outfit. And I definitely think like a body and little mini skirt option are a real statement piece in your wardrobe. I just think skirts for this time of year in general are a fab option to have in your wardrobe. And this one is really cute. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm gonna show you a few more options. Okay, this outfit, this outfit really does give the most. I'm a big fan. I think this is probably my number one outfit from this entire video. Well, this combo of outfits, this whole series with the leopard print skirt and the body, already my favorite. I'm not even done yet. So the green boots I am obsessed with, definitely one of my key pieces for this summer, autumn, winter transitional period. I am obsessed with them. They pair so beautifully with the skirt and the body combo. And then I've also thrown on a little trench, which is from H&M. It's a really nice lightweight one and a great one for shorter girls as well, because it's actually a little bit shorter than most trenches. I really find that most trenches swamp me, but this one is actually like one of my favorite jackets in my wardrobe. It is such a great one. But yeah, it's a very cute little outfit to go both from like summer to autumn when we're not wearing the jacket, but then the jacket takes us like through autumn completely. Very cute, I am really, really into this one. This is the outfit without the jacket. I'm a big fan, big fan. Just wish I faked out my legs. That's my only, <laughs> my only regret about this outfit. Purely because the back of my legs and the front of my legs, they don't match. But yeah, anyway, loving this outfit. Now I'm gonna show you 
my nighttime combo. I have to say, the nighttime combo could be a potential birthday outfit option. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, so this is my third and final combo for the leopard print skirt. I've added my Zara blazer. I've just thrown it over my shoulders, but I'll show you what it looks like fully on in a second. And I've swapped the boots out for a really tiny little pair of strappy heels. These don't even have like a particularly high heel. They are one of my favorite pairs of shoes in my wardrobe for that. They're so comfortable to wear. I can walk and dance a lot in them and not even feel it the next day. You know, like some days, like I woke up after a wedding recently and I've been in a very high pair of heels for about 12 hours. My feet were broken. These don't break your feet. They are amazing. I love them. They just have that little bit of height while still giving you some comfort and elevating an outfit. And I live for that. As for the blazer, it does work beautifully with the khaki boots as well. I'm a big fan of boots. So you could also mix and match that too. I'm actually going to ditch the Louis Vuitton bag for like five seconds for this video to pair it with the Chanel Jumbo just because I think a black bag for a night out you can't go wrong and it just definitely makes it look a little bit more night time night out dinner appropriate such a cute little outfit i absolutely love that so yeah this is the end of my ted talk on a leopard print skirt three ways i hope you guys have enjoyed this i have enjoyed this a lot one of the things i also really like by the way is that the blazer kind of covers up the skirt from the back so you don't have a lot of layers going on i just think it looks very clean very chic yeah next up we have a very cute little khaki brown pairing we're using something that i loved wearing last autumn winter get excited people so we're cheating slightly with this outfit because it is very similar to the previous outfit but i couldn't get through this video without having a little nod to my Zara green khaki leather skirt. I lived for this last year. It is one of the best items I have for going through from late summer into very like solid autumn winter weather. It works so beautifully with like knee high lace up boots, just any kind of like knee high boots that are a little bit more casual. I think this works so, so beautifully with. And then with various different jackets and coats as well. It's definitely one of those like staple pieces that takes me right up until things start getting very, very cold, like end of December, January in the UK, roughly around that time. December's usually still fairly warm. So I actually managed to get a lot of wear of this last year and loved it so much. But it's definitely still a great one for the late summer months because it pairs really nicely with just a little pair of ankle boots and a simple body so with it today i have gone for my skims brown body which i really like with this i was not sure at first i wasn't sure that these two tones were going to work together but now that i've got it on i really like it and i really love it with the addition of the zara khaki boots as well they're just so cute and then with the four shank tees as well they just work really nicely together so don't be afraid to mix your browns and your greens because it does make a really gorgeous autumnal color palette this is definitely the time of year where i like to wear the autumnal colors but without the autumnal layers and as someone that hates layering and hates super chunky shoes and having like layers and layers of socks on and all of that this is like my dream time of year and these are like my dream outfits so definitely loving this one so much don't forget to let me know by the way what your favorite outfit was in the comments so this next outfit is another really cute little day to night outfit option for summer to autumn i've got on a midi dress from mango which i've had for i think a couple of years now i absolutely love it and it has become such a staple piece in my wardrobe all year round it never gets put into storage it works so beautifully on its own with cardigans with blazers with leather jackets there are so many options with a little midi dress like this it's actually knitted so it works perfectly for this time of year but also really well during the british summer as well so at the moment i paired it with my major trainers and my blazer just thrown over my shoulders this would be a really cute one for like a day of meetings in london like a really nice black blazer nice black midi dress but you've got that comfortable footwear in case you need to walk from place to place i feel like for me this is an oldie but a goldie when it comes to my wardrobe i've been wearing this kind of outfit for a very very long time and i still love it so much for me it's a real classic i've gone for the brown Brown bag at the moment but you could definitely add a black bag and make it a little bit more chic a little bit more dressy but this one really casuals the look down so nicely and if you wanted to dress it up you could go for either a pair of boots like the khaki ones next to me or my little strappy black pair of sandals would also look great with this and then i'd probably just throw on the black bag with it as well and have it look kind of dressy but still so comfortable at the same time honestly this mini dress is just the most gorgeous most comfortable midi dress I own, so cute, and works so perfectly just with a pair of trainers. It's a real staple piece in my wardrobe and I highly recommend if you don't already own one, pick one up, you will not regret it. Something else we can do as we go into autumn as well is throw a little crop knit over this. I like a crop knit with this one because it hits at the right point on my body, but you can go for a longer one if you prefer like slouchy and slouchy, but for me, I really like 
the mix of a little slouchy jumper that's cropped so that we're still getting that like fitted silhouette on my bottom half. If you don't have a crop jumper, you can also belt your waist as well and then tuck a regular jumper in and that works really beautifully too. I really love this outfit. Some of you may actually recognize this because I wore a variation of this back in the spring. Such a similar jumper, same bag, similar pair of trousers, same trainers. But this is like the perfected version of it. I found my perfect pair of white trousers. They're from Zara. I will link them because I think they're still on sale because I actually just bought another pair. I own three pairs of these just in case because you never know with white trousers when they're gonna bite the dust. People ask me how I keep my things white. I don't, I just buy multiple pairs of them because it is very, very tricky to keep your wets white. I also have one pair in the full length for when I'm wearing heels and one pair that I've taken up that I can wear trainers with as well. Like I just want all my bases covered and I wanna be able to wear these trousers with absolutely everything. So over the summer, I've been wearing these a lot just with a simple pair of sliders and then a body for like daytime dressiness. And then wearing them with like a cute little crop top and heels for evening. I'll pop an example of me like dressing these trousers up on the screen now. But this is basically the autumnal daytime version of that outfit and this is me making use of these trousers all year round i absolutely love them so i've got this little knitted crop on which i think you saw earlier from new in and i just absolutely love it it's been such a staple in my wardrobe it hits me at a really good point so i don't even need to like tuck this in to the trousers it's so great and then i've just got my phage trainers on you could go with converse literally any white trainer i think works really really well with this look i just went for white because it carries on like elongating the leg and you can definitely layer up under this as we go further into autumn winter as well really great outfit for this time of year it also look very cute with a black bag instead of the tan like i said earlier i really love a dressy bag with just a really nice like casual outfit i think it really like elevates it and this is one of those perfect like everyday outfits where you could be doing so many different things in one day and the look would still look appropriate anytime i wear like a white trouser black top combo on instagram it's always the most safe by you guys i think it's just one of those staple combinations that everyone loves and everyone should have in their wardrobe it's such an easy one to throw together so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you have probably seen this outfit before this outfit comes out with every single transitional season without hesitation it is like one of my go-to outfits that i have just loved for so many years now i used to wear it with one of my like cami silky slip dresses underneath and then throw a jumper over the top belt it that whole kind of vibe but now that i've got my new in crop it works really beautifully with just a simple black midi skirt as well and this works really well for like layering seasons as well if i want to take the jumper off i can wear like a black body underneath so i still have the option to be cooler because you know this time of year the weather's really unpredictable summer to autumn you don't know if you're going to be cold or too hot so having that little bit of layering is so important and for me having the midi skirt instead of the slip dress made this just a little bit easier to kind of like layer with because taking the jumper off meant i looked very dressy underneath so this is a slightly more practical variation on a very old outfit formula of mine i've paired this look with my asos little croc ankle boots i love these so much so so much they tend to bring these back year after year so i will try and link them if i can if they're in stock already if not i will try and link similar but there are always a pair of boots like this floating around and i think they're a real classic i've been wearing boots like this like a kind of croc or snake print for so many years now and this kind of ankle length i really like as well these have a really nice like thin but blocky heel as well and i really like that and they've got a square toe they're very cute very modern so i love those they're a real old favorite of mine the khaki boots would also pair perfectly with this outfit as well and going into like autumn winter we can definitely build on this outfit and make it a little bit like more cozy add a few more layers that kind of vibe i love this outfit i feel like i have said this probably about every outfit in the video but this one i just love so much i love this cut of jeans that Zara are doing at the moment. They're actually culottes, but on me, I'm five foot two. For any of you that are new here, they actually basically come up full length. Though so these are raw hem, so I could cut them to be a bit more like culotte style, but to be honest, I'm very happy with the fit of them how they are. I've paired them with the black body that I wore earlier in the video, and then my black Chanel sliders. These are basically just like a kind of plasticky material, but they're so great for the in-between seasons, as well as the great British summer in general, because we just never know when it's gonna rain. These have actually been one of the best shoe purchases I have ever made. I really wasn't sure of how much wear I would get out of them exactly when I bought them, but honestly, they've been one of my most worn pairs of shoes. I could not love them more. And they just work really nicely in with this outfit. I don't need a statement shoe with this outfit, if anything. The more simple, the better. You could go for a little black pair of boots. It's got a little bit more of a 70s vibe to it with a boot, and I don't love that, if I'm honest. Converse are kind of cute, but a little bit like skater boy 
ish and i love that vibe but i'm kind of trying not to do it too much at the moment but i do really like the strappy heels with this outfit as well for the nighttime version of this i just think it's so cute so this is another one of those really simple outfits but because of that it takes you very nicely from day to night so this last outfit is one that i'm actually gonna wear this evening so i thought i would show you guys because it's september 1st and we are well and truly in the summer to autumn transitional time of you. Not sure how I planned on ending that sentence, but anyway. I'm wearing my beloved Zara shirt. This is like a tweed texture. Some of you will have seen this so much, you'll be sick of it. And I'm pretty sure my midi dress is either from like Mango or Zara. I believe it's from Zara. I got a few of these in different colors last summer and they've been absolute staples for me. They're great in the summer months, just worn on their own. So comfortable and easy to wear. You can throw a really light shirt over them in summer if you want. This shirt is a lot heavier, a lot thicker. It's more like a shacket shirt jacket vibe you know and it definitely keeps me very warm i'm nice and toasty in it right now and then i've just paired that combo with my white converse which i am obsessed with right now sorry guys my battery died that is my camera telling me that it is almost dinner time and i need to go but anyway where was i this is a go-to outfit for me right now i either wear this shirt and the converse with like cycle shorts and a little top or a midi dress underneath and those absolute go-to combos in my wardrobe i'm enjoying this kind of little vibe so much at the moment fun fact i actually nicked it off lauren She's the real influencer. But yeah, I just think the pinky nude color and the white tones work really nicely together. We've got the brown bag bringing a little bit of autumn and the layering is keeping us nice and warm. But yeah, the colors are still basically me clinging on to some hope of summer. And some days it does feel like it's still summer anyway. So it's nice to have that mix of like kind of pinky nudes and whites mixed in with some autumnal tones in my wardrobe at the moment. That nice like hybrid summer to autumn vibe. But anyway, I think that is gonna be it for me today. This is the final outfit. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know if there's any other autumn styling videos that you would like to see. If you have any occasions or things that you really struggle to dress for this time of year, pop them in the comments and I will do my best to kind of like solve those problems in some way in a video coming up. Also, if you have anything that you struggle to dress for this time of year or any like styling dilemmas, definitely leave them below because it does help me like tailor my content. A few months back, one of you said, I really struggle shopping for jeans. I made a shopping for jeans video and you all loved it but that's going to be it for me today I hope you guys are all having a lovely day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon love you bye